私の後ろに孤中の手けいれんせし監獄よ Fighting smaller mobs in Watering Waves is frustrating because of intro and outro skills. Though Watering Waves has a really awesome combat mechanics and animations, I still feel like it's only made for bosses. So I'm wondering, did they forget about the smaller mobs mechanics? The one thing I really hate in Watering Waves is crowd control. It feels non-existent, and you really have to work on it, putting your brains to actually control the crowds. Unlike Genshin Impact, you have Kazuha, you have Venti and Sucrose, you are probably good anywhere, anytime. The worst part in MUWA is not the crowd control skills and characters, but this weird intro and outro skills positioning. Whenever you switch to other characters, they will do their entrance and do some sort of attacks in some locations near to your targeted enemies. When you are far from them, you can like use this feature to instantly get close to the enemy. This is one of the few advantages. But it's not good if you are really trying to control crowds. You have to use the knockback on the enemies to group them, but suddenly when you switch, you will be teleported onto another weird location. And your characters just attacks with the knockback on the enemy which will more likely to mess up the positioning again. This feature made it very hard for controlling crowds. You have to dash multiple times to fix your positioning whenever you switch to the next character. And I find this very annoying. For example, in this domain, when we use Yang Yang, I try to gather the ranged attacking enemies because they like to move away from you. So knocking them back to each other is the main goal. The other melee enemies likes to get close to you and attack, so no need to crowd control them. But here, I start with Sanwa skill, then Baiji. With this move, I immediately messed up my position. Baiji just teleported to a random location, knocking them to random direction, and Baiji also has some weird attack. She steps back so much and takes a lot of time in her intro skill before I can actually input commands. Now that we have successfully messed things up with my positioning, we would like to switch to Yang Yang now, and boom, random location again. And her intro goes plunge dive attack, which will knock back the enemies again to random directions. So I always cancel this attack with a dash to not mess up the knockback on the enemies. Then I try to find a good position to the other ranged attacker. And by this time, I already have used a lot of stamina. If I'm lucky to get into position in time, I will have to do some basic attack first to get some initial knockback on this dude first. Because Yang Yang's crowd control is good, but it has almost zero to no area of effect. Which kinda sucks and I also believe all the crowd control characters has the same area of effect. Wuwa ain't got something like Sucrose or Kazuha of Genshin. With a huge area of effect, they just doesn't exist here. So that's why you really have to do the initial crowd controlling before you do the actual crowd control skills. Only then I can finally use Sanwa for the finishing moves. Only intro and outro skills could behave a little more stable and has no knockback, and if only crowd control area of effect has slightly bigger range, only then I would consider Wuthering Waves combat gameplay to be the best I've ever played. But right now, playing versus crowd is very frustrating. I do at least one more rotation for leftover enemies, which is unnecessary if only I dealt damage to all of them in the previous rotation. Only Jian has the answer to these problems. But what about the players who don't have Jian? I hope this video reaches the devs and do something about it. This is not a rant, it is for the game itself to be better. So like and share this video to get this into the algorithm so Wuwa devs can see this problem. Marketing Strategy